perk. Some folks are calling this a consolation for Washington missing out on the World Cup in 2026. What do you think? I should be asking you that. Nah. <laughs> I should be asking you if it feels like a consolation, Seb. No, no, hardly, hardly a consolation, man. I, I think I'm still in the doldrums over the fact that, that D.C. didn't get a bit. It was especially tough today to see at the press conference Mayor Bowser, who was the person who led the failed bid, the fact that D.C. does not have games at the 2026 World Cup, comes down to her patting herself on the back and patting D.C. on the back for being such a great soccer city. Uh, We're not a great soccer city because you couldn't get us World Cup games despite the fact that we had every possible built-in advantage. So no, the, the All-Star game coming to DC does not make up for us missing the World Cup. However, Herc, I, I will say this. Um, DC will embrace this event. DC loves soccer, loves big soccer, and all stars are big. I, I think this will be a, a well-received event in the nation's capital. I've, I've got no, I, I've got no problem with it being well received. I have no doubt it will be well mm -hmm. received. It almost seems like an insult, though. Like on the heels of the World Cup, yes, of missing yes. a World Cup. Here you go. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, almost like uh, some charity. Hey, we feel we feel bad for you. One thing I will say, because we got the All Star Game coming up in August uh, in Minnesota at Allianz Field. I want everybody who goes to the All Star Game this year to remember what Allianz Field is like. And then compare it to Audi Field when you go to Washington, D.C., okay? And then we can talk about ambitious ownership groups and what real new stadiums should look like, okay? Just remember, remember Let's Allianz Field when you go to Minnesota. Those who are today. watching at home can appreciate it as well. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.